Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back here in the Whitetails Dynasty for one last episode to look back at the greatest moments in this dynasty, the greatest and the worst, to be honest. And I was incredibly sad to really let go of this series, but there are brighter things to come. But now let's just look at some of these school records here, and we're looking at the passing records. Now, Justin DiRoberto had an amazing career. Because looking at his career, 102 passing touchdowns, seven in a game. I mean, that is just, that, that's incredible. And honestly, you know, I didn't have really two great quarterbacks. I had Adam Miller, who was really good, but he was one of the original guys. He wasn't really a guy that came in with a high overall. He was a low overall guy. So DiRoberto was really the first guy that I really had to kind of unleash everything with. And then Colin Kurtz came later. But then just looking at the other records, Adam Miller actually owns the passing yards in a game record with 510. So at least he has one record. One of the original walk-ons has one of those passing records. So that is a good thing here for the school. It was a lot of fun. You could just see how many, how much we threw the ball in this dynasty. Now let's just take a look at probably the top two guys to ever put on a uniform, and that's Xavier Storm and Marley Yarbrough. Both of those guys pretty much own every single record. Marlon Yarbrough had an amazing sophomore season. I think that was the season where he had uh, 1,600 yards, 1,681 to be exact, and then had like 102 receptions. I mean, that was nuts. But Xavier Storm ends up being the all-time career leader in touchdown receptions in the NCAA with 52. He had 19 in one season, and he also had, you know, like I said, 5,200 yards in his career. That is just amazing. And then just looking at Marlon Yarbrough, just as good though, 354 career receptions. That is insane. And then 102 in the second season in the dynasty as well. Our defense, we really didn't even do anything on defense as far as record-wise. We just had really solid team defenses. That's the kind of defenses that we like to have. So I'm actually pretty proud of these guys. We have definitely came a long way from the original walk-ons. So I won't waste any time. For the rest of the episode, let's just take a look at some of the best and worst moments. You'll be able to see this entire series in a movie format, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for the support in this series. I look forward to seeing all of you guys in the next one. So enjoy. And he gets a nice 13-yard gain. So now first and 10, they only rush two on this one. Miller's gonna throw over the middle, and that's gonna be a touchdown, Marlon Yarbrough. The first touchdown in Whitetail's history comes at home by way of Marlon Yarbrough. Just remember this name in this dynasty. He could, and I mean could, go down as the best receiver. It's getting open, but he cannot hang on to that one. So a second and 10 throw, throw out to the right side. Marlon Yarbrough, he's gonna make one man miss and he's gonna be off and gone. Touchdown, Marlon Yarbrough. So now a third and 15, Miller facing some pressure, throws the ball deep and it's Marlon Yarbrough. He goes up and gets it. All five, 10 of the slot receiver, take a look. This throw had to be perfect. Outside shoulder and Yarbrough does the rest. So now it comes down to this. Two seconds left. We hurried up to the line. Here's a throw across the middle. We got Javon Oliver, but he won't get tackled at the one. Bruh. Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. One yard short. So they do stack the box here to stop the run. So we switch it to a quick pass. Second and six. Here's a throw across the middle. It's Rodney Ross. Game over. And for the first time in school history, the Whitetails come away with the victory and how fitting it comes on the road versus our set rivalry throughout this dynasty. And welcome to the starting debut of quarterback Trayvon Davis. So now inside of a minute, this time Davis throws across the middle. He's got Chris Coretta. He's falling in, touchdown. So now third and 10, this time Davis throws across the middle. He's got Jacoby Beck wide open and he's gonna walk in. Touchdown, Jacoby Beck. We're going for it here on 
this point conversion, two point conversion. Here's Davis scrambling out to the right side, but they're playing a good zone defense, Bruh. and Trayvon Davis gets confused, and he gets hit when he throws the ball. And they but look at Aconquo. He hits him hard, goes down a little bit, and Adam Miller has to get taken out of practice. So then we get to look at our backup quarterbacks here, as they're in pretty good field position here, Jones from the shotgun, throws across the middle. He's gonna find Thompson, but it's a tackle by who else? It's Tucker Okonkwo, welcome back. So now third and 11, this time Jones, he's gonna try to buy some time, roll out to the right, Give throw back that. to the left. It's picked off, Tucker Okonkwo, welcome back, fella. The junior leader on defense. You can just see the leadership. I mean, just the impact on the game. So in comes Adam Miller here. For this snap, third and six, throw across the middle. It's Nathan Bieber lined up at receiver. There was no film on this. Adam Miller, welcome back. As he finds Nathan Bieber lined up at receiver for the touchdown. And that's a perfect pitch and catch. Quarterback to quarterback. And that brings us to a third and 10. Bush. We're setting a blitz, throw across the middle. It's gonna be picked off. That's Nathan Beaver, the first interception of his career. Line, bringing in Beaver for the QB sneak. He gets in again. He scores. Bush, throwing out to the left side. He's finding <laughs> Lewis, and he's gonna cough it up. And that's a big hit by who else? Nathan Beaver. First and 10, throw out to the left side. It's gonna be an interception, and look who it is. Beaver, his second interception that of the time. game. And now it brings it to a third and 10, gotcha, Archer. Bitch. This time, so here's gotcha, TCU bitch. back onto the field, but look at this defense, another Man. sack this. on the fun. Gotcha, the third and 17, another blitz, and this time, Nathan Beaver. With one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sacks each. Now, Mitchler from the shotgun. He's got three wide receivers out to the left side and a bunch, throws out to the right, on Bruh. a screen, and Fletcher, Gets in for the touchdown. Take a look. In. We line up exactly the same. Run the exact same play. Throw across the middle. It's Brett Hill. Touchdown. And, and welcome to the biggest game in program history. So third and three. Throw out to the right side. It's going to be Xavier Storm. He's going to be in for the touchdown. And all we need to do is get past that stick. Here's another play out to the left side. It's a counter play in Jabari Blaze gets eight yards and that one will seal it up. So we're running four verticals. Simmons winds up, throws the ball deep. Doug Johnson, and he's got it, touchdown. And Doug Johnson sends us to the conference championship for the first time in school history. Doug Johnson, a man that was on the offensive and defensive side of the ball in season one, switched over to defense in season two and he's back on offense in season three and four and look at this his last home game so now third and 12 we got to get 12 yards to at least get inside the five throw out to the right side it's gonna be picked off Greer Jr. once again he's had a huge game man I did not expect this type of game from USF I knew they would have a good rushing attack but I did not think it would be this good Norris ran all over us this game and it landed on 249 yards rushing four touchdowns he was impossible to take down as charlie strong the coach of the usf bulls gets the american athletic conference championship and we have decided to join the big 10 and accept their invitation now. Roberto, play action fake, throw across the middle. It's gonna be caught, Maurice highlights Jackson. And that's why they call them highlights out of high school. Man, look at that catch. So now we move this clock down inside, inside a minute and a half. Third and four, throw out to the right side. It's Jacoby Beck with a diving catch, 11 yards. So we get this ball inside the five yard line. Here's a throw across the middle, Jabari Blake. So now we get it to the 25, first and 10. Throw out to the left side, another great throw, Xavier Storm. Play, snap, second and goal, throw to the end zone. It's caught, Jacoby Beck. So we do eventually get the ball past the 50 yard line. Here at about the 35, deep throw across to the right side. It's Xavier Storm. Here for our second and 11. 
Throw out to the left side. This time, Chris Carrera runs over a defender and uses a stiff arm. He's in. Touchdown. We're going to bring G D Roberto back in the game. Fourth and three. Rolling out to the right. Throws that way. Maurice Jackson. Touchdown. Nine yards out. And with that pass, D Roberto breaks the school record with six touchdown passes in a game. So deep shot on the next play. Here is Xavier Storm who goes up and gets it in traffic. That's a touchdown. We'll bring it to a third and 18. Di Roberto, he throws over the middle. That's Xavier Storm who breaks free. That's a touchdown. Wow. We are facing number one, Ohio State in the Big 10 championship. In for a quarterback power. We're used to running this. He gets to about the two. It coughs it up. That's a hit and a fumble. And Ohio State falls on it. And now they get it to a second and 11. Once again, we send the blitz. Thompson moves out to the right, breaks the tackle, and he will throw off another one of Elgin Lloyd. That's a touchdown. To a third and 12. We're going to send some pressure here with Nathan Beaver from the safety position. Got he will go in <laughs> unblocked. That's a sack. Loss of six yards. Second. We're bringing Adam Murphy, third and two, counter play. Out to left side, he will try to fight forward, and he will get it. Look at this effort in the offensive lineman, Joey Moss. He pushes him forward on this play. Adam Murphy had no business getting that first down, and he does, and that one will seal up the Big Ten Championship. A first down. So first and 10, look at this blocking, a big hole. Robbie Richardson breaks a tackle, and he's going to break downfield. So now they get it to about a second and seven at about the 27-yard line. Handoff, Robbie Richardson, a clean hole. He breaks to the outside, picks up another block in another big game down the sideline. Zane Alexander is going to run him down, but just slow him up. Man, he has been busy as well. He's almost at 100 yards so far in this game. But the man we need to stop is Robbie Richardson. He gets a block downfield, and he's going to break free. That's a touchdown. So now second and eight this time. Richardson run out to the left side. He's going to have it in a lot of room. He breaks the tackle. Bring to a third and ten. Screen pass out to left side. Perfect blocking. Robbie Richardson gets down. What can do about that? Our guys are just not making the tackles. So second and four, another counter play. Look at this. It's up the middle seven yards. And with that one, 313 yards and look at this he breaks the school rushing record for yards in a yeah. game i mean robbie richardson had the game of his life it looks like he won the heisman the walter camp the maxwell all of those awards for a reason he was i mean spectacular i mean this guy looks like a top 10 running back in the nfl draft come next season i mean man this guy did whatever he wanted 37 carries, 370 yards, three touchdowns. I mean, that defense, is just to stop here, and we come away with the victory here on the road. Here's a deep shot. This time, Brooks has a man. It's Woods. Oh, he comes God. up with the catch. What? 66 yards, and that is the ball game. Wow. Woods has it. And look at that, only one guy back. And Bryant Simmons is their quarterback. So following a penalty this time, first and 15, pitch out to the right side. Look at the vision by Ryan Hill. So this play in the I formation, running Patterson in motion, throws deep down the left side. It's Joseph Holloway, touchdown. Excellent. Pinpoint throw by D. Roberto. First and goal, throw on the next pass, touchdown. So now they run Holloway in motion here on a third and six. Simmons has all the throw, throws to the end zone. It is Holloway again. So he gets out of bounds to stop the clock there on that seven yard gain. Here is Roberto scrambling out to the right. He will throw, and it's a touchdown. A gain of 11 as Adam Murphy will not return in this game. But here's a throw out to the right side. It's Maurice Jackson. Brian Simmons has done everything up to this point to win the game. From the shotgun, Simmons faces a pressure, throws, and it's incomplete. Anderson Reed. Look at him, he bumps Simmons off of his throw and it causes the errant throw intended for Joseph Lee now looking to extend it. Adam Murphy, carry, he runs over a defender and goes down, but gets back up. And look at Murphy, he's off to the races and he will be gone, that's a touchdown. Are you kidding me? Look at that, I mean he lays across two defenders, gets back up 
and just breaks. So now this clock winds down inside of three minutes left here in the first half. We come out in the bunch formation. Here's a deep shot, and that's Xavier Storm. He gets open, and it's a touchdown. Nobody's catching him in the open field. History. Can you believe it? It took six seasons for us to win one of these games, and it came by way of LSU. Top 10 ranks, number nine in the nation. You're ready. You ready for this shot? Don't let it slip through your hands. And that brings it to a third and one. Bam Cameron, handoff, he's in. Touchdown, his first touchdown as a starting running back. 6.1 yards per carry in this game. We gotta keep running the ball with Bam. It looks like he's ready for prime time. Look at us again, lining up to go for it. Let's keep our offense out onto the field for a fourth and two. Here's a throw to the right side. It's Xavier Storm down the right sideline. He's got it for a first down. And with that catch, Xavier Storm actually becomes the all-time NCAA leader in receiving yards, 5,014. What a career for Xavier Storm, and it is a great one. Series the second in three seasons. As last time we were here, we faced Ohio State when they were the number one team in the nation, and now the tables have turned as they were quarterbacked by Brent Thompson, who is now the quarterback of the Carolina Panthers. And that brings us to a third and one. Another carry, Phillips to the right side. And this time it's Jonathan Simmons, the junior. Second and one, carry. Apollo St. Vincent holds on to the ball and he goes down, but a gain of nine yards. And just like that, the White Tails have punched their ticket into the national championship. Seasons. And here we are at the national championship. Bam Cameron out at running back from the shotgun. He gets it. It's a touchdown. Six gets yards. To a third and six. DiRoberto, quick throw to the right. He's got the senior, Xavier Storm. And wow, I mean, this guy is putting up numbers in this one. Handoff. Now inside the five. It's Bam. Tight end. And now that brings it to a fourth and ten. This play could be the game. Jenkins throws to the right side. He's got Wilson, and that's not enough. The championship run, the undefeated season, it's come full circle. What a game we just played. I'm the Heisman Trophy winner, George Jenkins. Wow, Justin DiRoberto, what a career it's been for him. He's expected to declare now, because if he were to show up in this game, NFL scouts are pretty much pegging him as a first round quarterback right behind his opponent, George Jenkins. And wow, what a game from him. 22 of 28, 302 yards. For the unveiling of the first four guys in Whitetail's history to have their jerseys retired. <laughs> oh, old school. Old school this week. Uh oh, 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 come ready. They hurried up to the line, but they do not call a timeout. Oh and look at this clock. God. It is still running. I'm not sure if John Patrick knows what's going on, but the clock is still running, and it's get, it gets to two seconds. He just throws, he snaps the ball, and now gets hit. And it's Anderson Reed with the tackle. We just need to learn to unlock that speed, maybe just throw him some accurate balls. So here's an option. This time a pitch out to the right, and somehow Maurice Jackson can't handle it. And Meade picks it up and runs it in. It's first and goal. So handoff up the middle. Apollo is going to walk in for the touchdown. Pretty good year in his first year starting. So now third and long. This time we send the pressure from the safety position, and Justin Royal gets in. A dime of a throw. And now a minute left here in this game. Draw a play to Ian Greco, but there is David One White. Timeout. Fourth and nine. This is the game. Carey tries to scramble. He's gonna take it himself, but he slides before the first down marker. He loses track of where he is on the field, and that is just short of the And welcome to the Big Ten Championship, as we already have two here in this dynasty, two of three. Inside the 10 yard line here, set up for a third and eight. Rolling to the right side, Wilson throws on the run, and he's gonna find the senior, Maurice Highlights Jackson. So here's Penn State. They're just going to take this one into half, handing it off to Robinson. He gets tackled, but no, he breaks another oh, one, and he God. will break free. There's no time left on the clock. Can Adam Williams run him down? No. 
It's a touchdown. Here is McFadden now from the shotgun. Trips to the left side. He's going to throw that way. And he's got Julius Thomas for the touchdown. So now third and three. McFadden this time. Another handoff to Robinson. Trying to waste time. And we can't get the clock down. And they call their timeout with two seconds left. And now here they are set up for the game winner. This could be the end of the perfect season. So we call a timeout. Maybe icing the kicker. And let's see if this will work. This should be a chip shot, though. The kick is up. And it is going to be wide to the left. Here's a handoff. Julian Gonzalez, who falls in five yards out. It's a touchdown. The national championship. Snap from the shotgun. McFadden can't get rid of it. And that is the game. David Wyatt for the sack. He's got three in this game. And believe it or not, that is the most ever in white tails history in a game tied for the most and there we go we are going back to the national championship and welcome to the second straight national championship here in the white tails dynasty as we take on number two undefeated wisconsin we have to go to the end zone third and goal wilson throws and it's caught by marquise moore touchdown Lee under center this time quick throw out to the right side and it's picked off by the senior coco bamaye gain of nothing fourth and one this is the game lee blitz off the left edge he sacked in the white tails our champs back to back what advice as a former quarterback would you give this year well, far be it for me to give him any advice, but just being, <laughs> you know, this kid's a freak. Um, I, I would tell him, it's just from following this sport and being in the, the, the perch that I've been in for 24 years and watching guys come and go, I, I would probably advise him and say, just be careful of listening, and it's hard not to today, but feeling these almost unrealistic expectations what happens when I've watched guys feel as if they told me after the season, they, they, they sub, you know, subconsciously feel that they have to live up to that hype. And, and there's a tendency to want to make the 50-yard touchdown. So here's a handoff. This time Smith breaks a tackle, somehow Bruh. gets out of it, and runs over a defender. It's a touchdown. Wow, Marcus Smith just avoided three tacklers in the backfield and somehow stayed on his feet and then runs over Barry Willis. It's 21 to three. To first and goal at about the two. Hand up. Gonzalez is in the game now. It's a touchdown. Two, though. Another first down. So we hand it right back to him. He goes in. Here they are. Run the screen pass. Out to the right side. Mackey gets to Smith. He breaks the tackle and somehow breaks free. And he's off to the races. First down as we move the chains. As his clock continues to run here. Kurtz throws across the middle. It's Delroy King who makes up for that drop earlier. He has it gain of 20. Some time here just in case we score. Hand off Apollo up the middle. It's a touchdown and we will take the lead. So now from the shotgun, they line up with trips to the right side. Let's see what they do. Mackey from the shotgun. He's going to take off. Nobody's home. And he does get stopped by Damar, Damar Jameson, but gets stripped. Frankie Kai from behind. It's a big time punch. And take a look. He just comes out of nowhere. And Mackey was not covering the ball. And he strips it. And look at the veteran on the defensive line. Are back in the national championship. Three years in a row. So here is Colin Kurtz back on an offense for his first drive. Throw to the right side. It's picked off off of the tip. And Lamb, he picks it up and runs it in. It's a touchdown. From the 25, they send the blitz. Throw to the end zone. And it's Blake Wright. He's got it for the touchdown. Here. And now that brings it to a second and 10. Toss play to the left. Rodgers breaks a tackle. He's in four yards out. So play action fake this time. Notre Dame sends the blitz. Blake Wright goes up and gets it in traffic. It is a big time catch as we're inside the 15. As we hand it off inside the five. Hand off Julian Gonzalez. He gets in. Get it to about the 25. Here is Kurtz. Quick throw. Jasper Sweet. He's got speed. He's got it inside the 10 yard line to about the one yard line. On the next play, run it to the line. Throw. And it's caught. Right, Michael Bradbury. It's a touchdown. They bring it to a second and five. Here is Carter again. 
Nobody's open. Everybody's covered. God, and it's a covered that. sack. And it is a really old villain who gets credit for that one. And now we get it to the four-yard line. Handoff, third and two. Apollo walks in. And we take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And Notre Dame, the tides have turned a little bit closer. They come out with five wide once again after calling a timeout. Carter throws to the right side. It's picked off, and that's Charles Davis. The senior who's been picked on all game comes up clutch, and he seals this game. And we take home our third national championship in a row. Can you believe it? That is 45 straight wins. Working hard for a minute. The ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it. The ones who speak the truth never get the recognition. But the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention. It don't matter though. Yeah. And it don't even matter though. Nope. Hey, it don't even matter.